Hello everybody, this is John. Welcome to another quarantine edition of a product review. Um, today's product comes from the Smuckers brand. Um, they're known for their jellies and jams as well as their peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. You can get the freezer section called Uncrustables. Well, they've recently come out with some new Uncrustables. Um, they look a lot different, but they are still under the Uncrustable name. Um, but these don't have anything to do with peanut butter or jelly. These are savory items. They come, they come in, uh, four varieties. I was able to get my hands on three of them. However, I'm only going to be reviewing two because basically there's two subsets and each subset has two flavors. There is a, a roll up variety. As you can see, these are like little in wheels they come in these packages they're frozen this one is turkey and colby i believe the other one is ham and maybe swiss or cheddar i'm not sure but i was able to get this one as well as the the ham one um i'm only going to do the turkey and colby because i'm assuming they're going to be a similar product uh the only difference being like preference wise either turkey or ham and these ones, by the way, uh, they're just like the Uncrustables uh, peanut butter and jelly ones. You just leave them out of the freezer for about an hour, and uh, they thaw out and eat them. The other variety, however, is a little bit different. These ones are barbecue chicken bite Uncrustables. You can see there's steam inside there because I had to microwave this. Now, this comes in the barbecue chicken as well as a beef taco variety. Um, so far, I know these are only available at Target. That may change. Um, they're also only available, like, to actually pick up in-store in Target. Um, you can't do it with a curbside pickup for them. I don't know why Target decides some things you have to go in, some things you can't. But, uh, some delivery services will actually shop in Target for you. Which is what I did, because I didn't want to go inside as much as I... Um, would like to go to stores right now. I'm being cautious or not. So, I only got the barbecue chicken one. I ordered all four, but the shopper who shopped for me said they didn't have the taco one. What can you do? So, I'm kind of disappointed because I would like to try both of those to see how the cause taco beef is a lot different than barbecue chicken. But it's the same concept. You actually take these out of the freezer and microwave them for 40 seconds. I'm going to try this one first because it's hot, so I don't want it to get cold. So you open it up, you get two little buns. Is this not safe for work picture here? Anyway, let's take a bite and see uh, what the barbecue chicken looks like on the inside. Barbecue's pretty sweet. It was like a big chunk. I'm going to extract this piece of chicken. This is like the biggest piece of chicken inside of this thing. And the color you can see is mostly white. The chicken, the, the color of the chicken. It's a little darkness of this, for the barbecue sauce. It's not an overabundance of barbecue sauce in here. The barbecue flavor is uh, relatively light, a little bit of smokiness, a lot of like sweetness. Very moist, very chewy. The bread on the bottom is a little bit thicker, a little bit tougher. No, no kind of like crunch. The texture is mostly soft, but um, that's really all there is about that one. Let's move over to the rolls. 
So this one you can defrost and just stick in like a lunch thing because you don't need to heat this up. But it comes with four rolls. I imagine it's one roll that's cut. Though I don't know if like all four of these are from necessarily the same one or whatnot. But there's a cross section. You can see there's meat in the middle. There's cheese around the outside. And they say this is like a flatbread. And you can kind of see like the holes in there. It kind of looks like a the pizza crust you get from like a Lunchable pizza. There's some like whiteness in there. I don't know if you could really see that in the pinwheel, but like right here where my finger is, and also like underneath there, there's like a little white layer. I'm not sure if that's supposed to be like a cream cheese or a mayo. Um, flatbread. Toe, turkey breast. Smoked turkey, jack cheese, celery juice powder. Where's the celery juice powder? Oh, I'm not sure. Smoked turkey breast, Colby Monterey Jack, and oh, Neuf Chatel cheese. Neuf Chatel cheese is like a lower fat version of cream cheese, so that's what I'm assuming that whiteness is. Let's give it a taste. The bread is a little on the dry side, not overwhelmingly dry, but I'm definitely going to need to drink something just to get the little bits that I can feel sticking to my, my gums in the back. But uh, pretty good. You get the saltiness of the, the meat and the cheese. The Neuf Chateau cheese gives it like a little bit of rich creaminess up there. I wish they would have gone with like a full fat cream cheese here. This is actually a great little snack. Take them out of the freezer, stick them in a school lunch bag. They're going to be fully thawed by lunchtime for sure. Yeah, not bad. Like I said, a little on the dry side. So I'm kind of disappointed I didn't get the taco one because I was mildly impressed with this chicken one. I want to see like just like how how wet how spicy the the taco would be but uh if you look at that it's not very filled the picture on the box looks more filled and i'm wondering if the taco one is equally like that what can you do you're limited by price how much you can fit in these things i'm going to say overall i do like this new product by smuckers I, I like the, the roll-ups a little bit better, just because it fits more in the line of Uncrustables, where you take it out of the freezer, and it thaws out, and you eat it, just like the peanut butter and jelly ones. Um, I think they also have, like, peanut butter and honey, and, like, Nutella-filled ones as well. Um, this one, shape-wise, fits better in, but this necessitates that you have a microwave um, to heat it up which uh, I think goes against like the whole Uncrustable brand thing. It's supposed to just be something thought out, you eat it, you throw it in a, uh, you throw it inside of a lunch bag. It's good for lunchtime. You don't need anything else to make it. Whereas this one you have to microwave. So that's a little bit on the side of a different product entirely. That being said, it tastes fine. Uh, both of them have a little bit of dryness issue in the bread, but that's my only, only only complaint about taste-wise. I do wish there was more food inside of it, but that's the product you're given. Um, overall, I'm going to give this product like a B-plus rating. It's probably like a, a solid 8 out of 10. 
for what it is. For what it is coming out of the freezer, snack food. The tastes on both of these are fine. Like I said, this is a little sweet, but it's not overly sweet. It's not offensively sweet. Um, you get a little bit of the barbecue. And that's about it. I think these are definitely good products. Smuckers, if you're watching this and you want to send me the taco one to my door, please let me know so I can try that. And I'll try it with the other, uh, the ham roll. Anyway, I hope you like this video. Hope you guys are staying safe during quarantine. A little quarantine snack for you. A little quarantine video for you. Give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Until next time, see you later, guys.